the creation of new products, services, or practices keeps the world moving forward. Hello and thank you for tuning in. My name is Catherine Gaho and I'm an entrepreneur. I've spent many years supporting businesses with research and strategies for new product introduction. New innovations, products or practices do not all have the same potential for acceptance by those they are expected to benefit in society. Some products seem to catch on almost overnight, while others take a very long time to gain acceptance. Think about the mobile phone, which was accepted almost overnight upon introduction, or that salon in your neighborhood where all the locals go. Compare that with that other salon, opened in the same neighborhood, but could not get enough customers or any traction to keep it going. Consider this, hard washing, which we now take for granted, was not always easily accepted as a means of keeping germs at bay. Not even in hospitals or by doctors. Indeed, the first person to suggest that doctors should wash their hands between patients, a Hungarian doctor, Ignaz Semowis, was harshly criticized. In the mid 1800s, when he presented his hand washing theory to the Medical Society in Vienna, his approach bruised the egos of the doctors by implying that the doctors caused patient deaths. It was only much later after his death that others brought the hand washing theory to the fore and it got acceptance. Today, we all know that we ought to wash our hands and of course even more now because of the challenge we are facing of the deadly virus. We've all adopted new products, habits, or practices into our lives at least once in a while. Our phones, those apps that we take for granted today, like Facebook, Twitter, and the like, were all new to us at some point. Adoption happens when we accept to use a new item on a regular basis. Just think of the new products in the last few years that today feel like second nature to you. In everyday life, we adopt new products and services to improve our lives. It could be a new phone, a new restaurant, a new gym, a new school. It could also be a new service provider. In recent times, we've all been required to adopt new behaviors, such as wearing masks, social distancing, sanitizing and the like. Some of these have had to be enforced because of our resistance to change. This resistance is seen through the different rates of acceptance or adoption of this behavior. Furthermore, the pandemic has caused serious disruption of production, distribution and retail operations, greatly impacting our own shopping and consumption habits. Many of us have had to adopt online shopping, online meeting platforms like Zoom, Hangouts, blue jeans and webex in order to get work going on and to maintain relationships during this pandemic the acceptance of an innovation new product or service or a new idea or a new business or new practice is spread through communication or conversations from the innovators to the consuming public research has shown that there are specific attributes or characteristics that help influence people's acceptance of new products. Let us now go straight to the five factors that influence consumer adoption of new products and what this means for business. One, high relative advantage. This is the degree to which people perceive a new product as superior to existing alternatives. Think about the mobile phone compared to the landline. Definitely superior. The mobile phone has a major relative advantage over landlines which helped it to get quick acceptance when it was first introduced in the market. Think of M-Pesa in Kenya. It had great advantage, superiority over existing money transfer alternatives at the time of introduction. And that's why it picked up like bushfire, reaching over 20 million customers in a few years. In a restaurant, it could be a new tasted dish that wins customers quickly overtaking existing options on the menu. The second factor is high compatibility. This word comes from compatible. You know, we many times talk about how whether couples are compatible or not. But what we mean here is the degree to which potential customers feel that a new product is consistent with their present needs, values, or practices. The resistance to wearing masks and social distancing for some, even against the risk of the pandemic has to do with the lack of compatibility with people's normal practices, values, 
and lifestyles. The acceptance to sanitize and wear masks and social distance for most is also because of its compatibility with our value for health, well-being and life. The health CS Mutahikagwe told us quite early that if we treat this disease normally, it will treat us abnormally. And we are starting to see his point. The third factor is low complexity. Complexity is a degree to which a new product is difficult or hard to understand or use. So low complexity, it should be more easy to understand and use. Some people find it complex to understand the idea of wearing masks and how it works. Indeed, the element of complexity is especially important when attempting to gain acceptance for high-tech or complicated products. People approach buying new technology or medical products with some form of apprehension because of the inherent complexity and the need for learning. If it's a medicine, you have to learn about side effects, uses, and all that. The easier to use and understand a product is, the more likely it is to be accepted. The fourth factor is high triability. Triability. That is the ability to try. That is the degree to which a new product is easy to try in small doses or in a small way before full commitment. In general, frequently purchased household products tend to have qualities that make them easy to try in a small quantity. We've all seen the small units of a new product in the supermarkets. The question to ask is, how does your new product lend itself to be offered in free samples or can it be made in smaller than average sizes. This is very key to stimulating new product trial because it reduces the perceived risk associated with newness. Trial ability provides consumers with opportunity to try new products and get direct product experience with ritual or no risk. The fifth factor is high observability. Observability or visibility is the extent to which a new product or product benefit can be observed or imagined or described to customers in some form or demonstrated for that matter. Products that have a high degree of social visibility are more easily accepted than those products that are used in private. Think of a new mobile phone or a fashion item and then compare this to a hard to observe item such as um, like a new shaver or new mouthwash, what do you think will take longer to adopt? Imitation plays a key role in the adoption of products that are visible. So visibility helps the user to introduce a product to others. Visibility also helps the marketer to introduce the product to their targeted customers. This is why we see a lot of new models of phones. Phones are always being changed, new features, new models all the time. The visible usage of these products like phones introduces them to the friends and family, the social circles of this person who has their new phone. Or even more, as they say, a scene on TV. Being visible makes a big difference and can benefit from the contagion effect. Visibility also makes it easy to communicate about the product from the manufacturer to the customers or from customer to their social circle. We've all seen how the users of the new iPhone models and Samsung models put them on the table wherever they go so that others can take notes or even start asking about the new phone. And that is how these phones get attention. It becomes a conversation starter, making it much easier to be adopted than other products. So if you are planning to introduce a new product or start a new business, you need to consider the five characteristics or attributes that tend to influence faster acceptance of everything new. And these are one, relative advantage, two, compatibility, three, complexity, four, trial ability, five, observability. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to subscribe and press notifications so that you can be notified of other relevant videos. Do feel free to make comments on the channel and let me know what you think about this video and other topics of interest to you. Thank you and best wishes. We all need to elevate our mindset at this time.